set up the project, go to the directory you want to create the folder in and open the command line there. You can do this by typing cmd and pressing enter. And then what you want to do is type in npx create next app and whatever the name that you want to give to your project. I'll be typing news dash site and then press enter. But this is going to take some time. As you can see, the installation has completed, and now you can go to the directory that is cd news site, and then you can type in npm run dev to start the dev environment. But right now, we don't want to do that. Now, we would like to install some dependencies. So, let's start. Type in npm r for install and then tailwind CSS, which will be used to style our React components. Other than this, we will also use react icons this is an icon library that we will use and other than that we will also need to type auto prefixer and full human slash post css dash purge css we will need these auto prefixer and full human post CSS for CSS for our tailwind configuration. Other than this, um, we will also need some other dependencies for Prismic, but we will be adding those later. So press enter and this let them install. Now that the installation is completed, we can type in npm run dev to start the project in dev environment press enter and it says the start they have started the server on http localhost 3000 if you go to localhost 3000 you can see the site up and running all right so let's just close this for now and open the directory in vs code Alright, so um, before we start, we need a few more things need to be done. For that, create a new file that is tailwind.config.js. Copy the configuration. Other than this, we will also need to do postcss.config.js. And now you need to copy a few things here because this is we want to implement the purge CSS and auto prefixer for tailwind CSS classes. If we are in the production environment, the purge CSS plugin will be used. In other cases, it won't be used. So this is how the tailwind is configured. Now save both of these and let's test these. So open the terminal in VS Code by typing command and then tilde that is just below the escape key and type in npm run dev hopefully it should work and it the server started at localhost 3000 so the errors were being shown because we forgot to import another dependency so type in npm i post css import and let it install now hopefully it should work now type in npm run dev and the server has started at localhost 3000 so let's check this and yeah the dev server has started there all right let's do some cleanup so once this has been set up, you have a styles folder where you have global CSS and module CSS, but you don't actually need those. So just go on and delete this folder and let's create a new folder called CSS. And inside the CSS, let's create a new folder, new file, tailwind.css. And inside the tailwind CSS, and inside the tailwind CSS, what I would like to do is enter these lines. So you are importing the tailwind base component and utility CSS classes. 
so um, this is how the tailwind is set up but other than that you will also need a base.css in base.css you can write any custom css that you want for example importing a google font and other basic stuff so let's just do this so in the first line we have imported roboto font from google fonts and we have put these body margin zero so in the body we have put font smoothing and html has a scroll behavior of smooth and the body is using font family of roboto so once it has been started also we are getting this error because this is still being imported here so let's just remove that in the index.js um, remove this style and here what you would like to return is let's um, return a div and i from home let's just save this and you don't need this right now actually i would like to preserve the home the head and let's remove this okay so um let's put in div and i from home once you have done this in the app also you would like to remove this importing of global css but since app dot js is the common entrance of all the apps so in the app you would like to import So in the app file, you would like to import Tailwind in base CSS. And now let's check if this is going to work and it's compiling. So to check if the Tailwind is working, let's do last name and text for Excel. So let's see if this works. Hmm, style is not defined. Let's see now. Yeah, it's working. As you can see, it's um, I from home. And let's check what font it is. It's Roboto. So now we have completely set up the tailwind and next JS. And in the next video, we can start by creating the site.